Hey guys, it's me, Nisha. I am coming to you to say hi and let you guys know that I am out of the hospital and just give you a little update. I've been out of the hospital for, let me see, a week. Today is Wednesday. So I think almost two weeks I've been out. A week and some days, almost two weeks, I've been out of the hospital. Um, I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm having the normal everyday sickle cell pain. But other than that, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm up and I'm moving around. I'm actually trying to um, get a little bit more active um, to see if that, that helps me. My doctor um, thinks that it might help me if I try to be a little bit more active than I normally am. Um, and try to get back to how active I used to be. I know I just can't jump right in it because when I was really active before, I wasn't sick how I was. My sickle cell wasn't flaring up as much. So I've been going to the gym a few times a week with my husband, um, riding the bike or walking on the track really slow, not doing anything crazy and not for an extremely long time, just going at my pace, not like a set workout or anything, just doing what my body feels like it can do. So, um, I'll tell you what happened at the last hospital stay. Um, we actually were going to do the outpatient treatment. So my doctor gave me orders to go to the hospital and I was supposed to get four hours IV fluid and pain meds. And after the four hours, I was still in a lot of pain. My pain had actually kicked up a little bit. So she ordered some lab work, and they did lab work and chest x-ray, all of that good stuff. And the lab work showed that I was in a sickle cell crisis. So then she admitted me. And we were only going to do it for overnight because we just thought that we could could get it under control so we did that and it didn't get any better like it was just getting the sickle cell pain was getting worse so it basically turned in a full out into a full out crisis um what i sometimes i call call them mini crisis like when it's small and we can handle it at home or doc at the doctor's office i call those mini crises which is basically like my body is trying to go into a crisis but we're trying to see if we can do something to prevent it so we do the IV fluids the pain meds and all that good stuff um and then so um i was in the hospital for a week and a couple days and then and that was actually a pretty short stay cuz normally i'm in there like 2 weeks so I was in there almost two weeks, but it it wasn't as bad as it normally is. Um, and then normally I um, get have crisis like once every other month, but it barely made a month this time. And I don't know if it's because the weather was really cold because we did have some really, really cold weather. And that's what triggered it. It was really cold. And I didn't even go outside and we had like negative temperatures, but it's like when we have those negative temperatures, I don't know if other sickle cell, um, sickle cellers can relate to me, but I feel you, when it's cold, you feel really achy and like thought your bones, it's like your bones hurt. It's like someone is, has a hammer and is banging on your bones and that's how it started. And I stayed in, when it's really cold, I stay in the house. I stayed in the house, but then I had to go outside for something, but it wasn't that cold. And from there, it just went on and it didn't, it didn't stop. It just got worse and worse as the days, days went on. Um, and then that's when we did the outpatient treatment, didn't work, and I was in the hospital. And then after that, I came home and I actually, it normally takes me like, two weeks to get back to myself like moving around the house it didn't take me that long and like I was really I was pleasantly surprised like thank you Jesus because it's hard being a mother and a wife and you can't do the things that you normally can do because you're in pain so I was really happy that it didn't take that long for me to get back to myself um so now I went to the doctor already and I don't have, to, she wants to see me in three weeks. So I have to go to her like in two weeks. Um, but other than that, I am doing good. Um, I'm feeling a lot better. 
Um, one day, I keep saying that I'm going to record my doctor's office visit, but I just feel weird, like, carrying my phone or my camera around. Like, I just feel really weird. I don't know. I don't know. I'll see if I, I feel comfortable to do it one day. Um, or if I get treatment one day, I'll probably do that because there's like a curtain or you'll be in a room. Um, I'll be in a room. So maybe I'll do that one day. Um, let me think what else. One day I'm going to record them accessing my port. This is my port um, right here. Um, I have a power port. So one day I'm going to record them doing that and they'll that's really easy because I'm in a room and they'll they'll do that um do that and I just want to show them like sticking the, the needle in it and I don't know if some you other sickle cell warriors who have the power port or port is yours positional and when I say that it means like it acts funny and doesn't want to give blood like depending on if you're sitting up or laying down like mine gives blood um, a lot better if I'm laying down sometimes it'll act funny like it doesn't want to give blood like it'll flush how it's supposed to and it'll allow medicine to go in but sometimes it doesn't always want to give blood depending on how I'm laying or the position that I'm in and yes um, I know some people are going to say are they flushing it with the heparin afterwards yeah they do flush it after each use so it's not that it's not being used properly they're using it properly it's just that Depending if I'm sitting up, laying down, if my arm is up, arm is down, things like that make it work better. And it's like me and the nurses always laugh because it's like lift your arm, put your arm down, lift it, put it over your head, do this, do that. And normally it ends up giving blood, but sometimes it just it acts a little funny. Um, but I will say that I love the port. Even with those times, this port is like a lifesaver like I don't have to get stuck in my arm and even though the when you are in the hospital the needle that they use is a lot bigger the thing is it's a lot bigger and it's one poke and it does hurt it's not like the end of the world but it does hurt but the thing is you know that they're gonna get it you can't they can't miss on this like you have to not know what you're doing to miss like there's I don't know if you can see it but there's three dots and it's a triangle and you poke in the middle you poke in the middle of the triangle and there's no moving or anything like that I have veins that are that move and that that are small and that collapse so it's a guessing game with my veins so I am so happy that my doctor um, suggested that I get this but I've been talking to you guys for a while I just wanted to give you an update you let me know if you have any questions about sickle cell or anything and I will definitely do a video